I love Leonard so much. Like I always say that if the shoe was on the other foot, like if I had the choice, like I would have taken his spot, like without question. And after Leonard passed, cause I don't do that. I really don't like to cry. I'm sorry, I'm ready. I was with Leonard the night that he passed away. We went out to the club. Um, Leonard, like he's known for drinking and when he get drunk, he don't wanna be around nobody. Like, it's like I don't wanna be around these bitches. Like I'm gonna take an Uber home. So of course being his girlfriend, I'm like, you're not gonna take an Uber home. We're gonna drive home together. So, you know, I pull off and in the midst of me, pull, like, you know, driving, he opens up the car door while I'm driving. He's like, like, you know, I'm gonna take the Uber, whatever the case may be. So I have no choice but to slow down. When I slow down, he gets out the car. Of course, I'm like, get back in the car. He's like, no. I'm like, okay. And I drive off. He calls me and he's like, hey, you got my gun still. Bring me back my gun. And the type of man that Leonard was, like, he wouldn't even go to the corner store without having his gun on him. So it wasn't unusual. I turn around, I give him his gun. Of course, I might get in the car. He's like, no, the Uber's 25 minutes away. And like, I'll meet you at home. He never met me at home. I get a call from my boss and she's like, hey, are you okay? I'm like, what do you mean am I okay? She was like, um, they said the guy you came with, he's laying in the street, he's dead. Like, I think he got shot. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like. So of course, like, I start calling him. I'm blowing him up. My heart is in overdrive. Like, you know, I'm panicking. Um, I go speeding back. I go all the way back from Virginia Beach all the way to Hampton. A 40 minute drive I made in like 20 minutes, tops. When I get there, it's nothing but a bunch of ambulances and cops. Like, I see where the sheet is. In my head, he may be under the sheet. I go run into the sheet and all I can remember and like that's burned into my head is like seeing his shoe in the road like just his shoe then like they ultimately after speaking to the cops they were like recording my phone I fully cooperated while I was there they let me go to the hospital while I'm at the hospital they come they do like gunpowder residue checks on me like you know they're checking my clothes making sure all that stuff I had no problem cooperating because I know how this go. Like everybody's done seen a crime show. The girlfriend is always the first suspect. Finally, after like three and a half hours, they come out, they tell me that his heart stopped beating. What I was originally told and what has been the consensus amongst the Hampton Police Department and the detective dealing with the case, Leonard committed suicide. And his family keeps saying, no, it's homicide. But from the detective's mouth, there's nothing that points to a homicide, nothing at all. I think he really got frustrated because one, he had to wait on the Uber or wait on me and he double thought like I should have just gotten the damn car. And so he got frustrated and he was shooting in the air and they don't know if he put the gun to his head and pulled the trigger or if just from repeatedly, you know, firing, the kickback hit him. So his family, they think that I shot him. They think I ran him over with a car. They think that for some reason that he was leaving me and that he cheated on me and that's why I murdered him. I'm not a murderer. I'm a lot of things, but a murderer isn't one of them. His family needs to know that I'm not a murderer, that I didn't set him up, that I don't know anything more than what I've already told them. They also need to know they need to stop being ignorant. I'm the youngest person in this whole situation and these bitches like they just keep going on and on and on and on now that I'm doing something great with myself in my life now it's I want to take you to TV I want to do this I want to you want to be seen they want clout they want attention that I do not give them so this is gonna be my first time and my last time of dressing them publicly so if they don't accept the results from today that's something that they're gonna have to live with and something they're gonna have to deal with but I'm done with them uh, Latasha Leonard was your nephew. Yes. Why are you here today? Because a Le Alexis is a liar. She um, is a compulsive liar. The story she just gave now is she's had at least five to ten of them. And Leonard has told his mother and entire families, if anything happened to me, she did it. Um, he said that maybe it was months prior to him dying. And I think it was because she would make so many threats. She told his well, he told she told him she was going to kill his. She had some 
uh, cans on the side of the house. She said she was going to blow the house up. She came to Gloria one day. They were in an argument. He wouldn't. She didn't. He wouldn't answer the phone. She came to her house saying where he had. I'm going to kill so him. So you believe everything that she's saying? On she's the lying. Floor. Like she's lying. She's told 30 different stories. Now she's going back to the story that. Um, he was mad when he left, and that's why he got out the car. She said some guys were trying to talk to her, and he got mad, and he wanted to get out the car. She's forgetting to say that she told the police, I have the video. I'm the one who got the, uh, the what, are, what are they called, cop cams, whatever they are. I got those. Uh, she told them then, my, he got out the car, my cousin said she was going to get somebody to f him up, and he got out the car. I asked her repeatedly, well, what was he mad about? Oh, he wasn't mad. We have video now. Uh, she made a live video saying, oh, no, there wasn't an issue. When we were arguing, we were good. He left out. I said, I love you, love you, too. I'm going back to pick him up. If Leonard was very concerned that she might do something to him, why did he stay with her? I don't know. I asked Gloria the same thing. He did tell Gloria and his best friend that he kind of felt bad for her. Um, I don't know what that was about. I didn't ask. You know, I didn't get into his relationship. Because she, she was one of many. It's not like she was a major girl. Did you, did you, did you know Alexis? No. No. The first time I met her was over the phone when her Gloria and Leonard called to tell me that she was supposedly pregnant, which we don't believe. So she never ended up having a baby? No. She, uh, what she told us the story was she lost a baby. She was about six and a half months, is what she's saying. Uh, she was on her way to school or wherever, got an accident, the baby died. She called it a miscarriage. Um, yes, yeah, she called it a miscarriage. There's no proof. She claimed she gave us. Are we seeing any pictures of her pregnant? No. Stop lying on me. What I lie about? No, I love Leonard. I Your story me? is incorrect. What's incorrect? Leonard what? never cheated on me. Leonard never cheated on me. You didn't find him a the girl? He was not nobody. That's not a joke. Me, so Leonard stop and performing. I stop performing. Up after we lost our son. We lost our son in December. Mm -hmm. In the middle of January, we broke up. Technically speaking, we were not together. Even though we were together every day, I still lived there. I had only moved out for about a month. Had a, he put me in my own apartment. He paid my rent because we became so toxic after losing our son. Why are you busting? He grabbed me up. My friend heard me yelling in the house because he grabbed me up. He's trying to take me out the room because the girl's like, let me explain. Let me explain. No, I'm sorry. Like, I'm passionate about him. I love him. That's a man that I love. Was I hurt that he had sex with someone else? Of course I was hurt. You wouldn't kill him no, over that hell incident. no. Uh, hell no. I feel like when Leonard died, like I lost a part of me too. Um, tell me about your son. My son was an amazing guy. Um, he was a wrestler. He was a boxer. When he was in um, school, he was the first one to win the championship at Norview Middle School. Um, Anything he did, he gave 120%. He was a pe he was a people person. He loved his family, and um, he had a spirituality. He wrote down his goals. Um, he taught me a lot. He wrote a lot of self help. But he read a lot of self help books. He was just amazing. 25 year old, like just he was sharp. He was smart. <laughs> He was my everything. He wanted me to open a restaurant. He had just won $8,000 from a casino, and he told me he wanted to invest in me. <laughs> and... <laughs> and he said he wanted, but it had to be a soul food restaurant. <laughs> the night that my little brother passed, um, we heard that they were arguing in the bar. Um, they, it went all the way to them leaving the bar arguing. Um, I'm sorry, I'm shaking a little bit. Um, she was driving. He got out the car. Like, she, I don't know how that happened, but he got out the car. She said he got out. Yeah. Um, and he said, bring me back my gun. That's what she said. He, she said. Bring, he brought back the gun. Did he, he call brought, her? Hold on, hold on, okay. hold on. Because I don't even, he brought back the gun. When he brought back the gun, um, they got into it. They had a little argument. She struck him in the face. When she struck him in the face, she got mad, she got in the car, and she hit him with the car. She got scared after she hit him with the car. She got out to see if he was okay, went to go lean over to see if he was okay, and he pulled her down. And they started, you know, fighting on the ground. 
and somebody reached for the gun. Um, they say Alexis reached for the gun and the gun went off. Alexis came here and we broke her test in the three parts. The first is the gun shooting. On May 8th of 2021, did you shoot Leonard? She answered no. Do you know who shot Leonard on May 8th, 2021? She answered no. Did you see who shot Leonard on May 8th, 2021? She answered no. The results came back all the same, and they came back that Alexis told the truth. <laughs> on, on May 8th, 2021, did you hit Leonard with a vehicle? She answered no. On May 8th, 2021, do you know who hit Leonard with a vehicle? She answered no. On May 8th, 2021, did you see who hit Leonard with a vehicle? She answered no. The results came back all the same, and they came back that Alexis told the truth. We asked Alexis, did Leonard ever use any form of communication to tell you that he had thoughts of hurting himself? She answered yes. Did Leonard ever use any form of communication to tell you that he had thoughts of ending his own life? She answered yes. The results came back the same to those two questions, and it came back that Alexis told the truth. Thank you. Y'all got nothing. I hope that you can move forward. And, in, and you know, I, I've heard people describe the pain of losing a child and saying that they don't find joy even the, the simplest of things, a hot shower or sleeping in a comfortable bed. But I hope that you can find comfort in things in life that other family members, other people in your life, that you can overcome this pain. And I, I certainly am glad that you came here today. Um, and I hope you can move past all this because it's not good for you. I know. She's not going to stop but talking I hope about you can him. Get away from her. All right. And, and pushing this fake narrative. It's very nice for you. Thank you. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, you know what? She was brave enough to do that. I can do that too.